Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice, and today I want to talk to you about taste aversion, or what I call the red berry phenomenon. But first, I'd like to tell you a story about an elderly couple. The couple was celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary and wanted to do something special for it, so they decided they would do something they had never done before. They'd go out to a fancy French restaurant and then to the opera. At dinner, the husband decided to get the filet mignon with sauce bernays on top of it. And sauce bernays has got a very unique taste, a very distinct flavor that you'll never forget. And he had never had that before, and it was quite enjoyable. During the opera, during the second act, in the middle of the second act, in fact, the husband got violently ill. He began nauseous and then vomiting, abdominal pain, so sick he had to leave the theater. By the time they got home, he was so disgusted, he was mad at the French restaurant that the sauce bernays had gotten him sick. And I asked myself, why would he blame the sauce bernays? It didn't happen during dinner, it happened during the opera. The sauce bernays was very unique, but so was the opera. He had never been to the opera before. And the answer is, is something called taste aversion or the red berry phenomenon. For the last 10,000 years, human beings have had the ability, the smart ones anyways, to when they ate red berries, if they got sick after eating the red berries, they would avoid red berries. You eat a red berry, you throw up an hour later, and you hopefully are smart enough to know that red berries made you sick, and then for the rest of your life, you remember to never eat red berries. You have an aversion to red berries. The dumb caveman, or the folks a thousand years ago, or ten thousand years ago, who did not have that ability to make an association between what you ate and getting sick, um, they didn't survive. They ate red berries, they got sick, they continued to eat red berries, they continued to get sick, and they died of red berry poisoning. So that was definitely a survival skill, would be to be able to understand or comprehend the difference between red berries, or sauce bernays, and the opera. So obviously food causes a taste aversion when you get sick, but some something unique like the opera does it. It's interesting that when you get stomach flu, you start throwing up and diarrhea, and by default, you have to have eaten something before you got stomach flu, and that usually is to blame. I oftentimes see patients in the office when they come in with stomach flu, and they're convinced that whatever they ate before had caused the stomach flu because of this taste aversion. So if you had taken a left turn at lunchtime and got McDonald's for lunch and then got sick that afternoon, you would have blamed McDonald's. If you had taken a right and ate McDon or Burger King for lunch, you would have blamed Burger King when either one of those was actually not to blame. It was because you had had stomach flu. So that's called taste aversion or the red berry phenomenon. An interesting side note to this is that when you actually do things like smell milk to see if it's gone bad, you are chemically analyzing the milk, looking for evidence of bacteria or uh, chemicals that the bacteria release to determine if that milk has been spoiled. So same thing with the cavemen 10,000 years ago when they reached in the refrigerator and they grabbed milk. There were smart cavemen that had chemoreceptors or chemical receptors in their nose that were able to detect the presence of microscopic bacteria and tell them that, there was, that the milk was bad and they wouldn't drink the milk. The caveman that did not have that capability to detect bacteria didn't know that the milk was spoiled. They drank the milk and they got sick and they died or they put the milk back in the fridge and they drank the milk the same the next day and got sick and didn't figure out why. So everything we have does have a caveman um, origin to it. So taste aversion, red berry phenomenon, also known as, known as the sauce bernays effect. Interesting food for thought. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.